acne can be treated but it cannot be fully gone hey guys, welcome back to my channel i miss you guys so much thank you for staying true to me and for loving me unconditionally i feel so good so if you're a new subscriber thank you for joining the family and i'm never going to let you guys down so just let me know the kind of videos you want me to shoot for you and i'm gonna shoot it right away so today i'm gonna be talking about acne and tips to get rid of acne i'm gonna be sharing with you guys five tips on how to get rid of acne and let's get started someone with a very problematic skin as you all can see that is the reason why i did not put makeup on my face so, and this is the best my skin has been in a long time yes i mean it the struggle is real guys the struggle on acne is very real and like i said acne never entirely goes away you need to keep struggling for you to get the perfect skin the first tip on how to get acne free is for you to cut out dairy cut it off cut it off your dairy is no good for you one thing i've come to realize is whatever you put in your stomach is going to reflect on your skin aside even having problematic skin i notice if you eat right and you eat healthy your skin is going to glow and it's going to pop people will be like what are you using on your skin girl your skin is dope your skin is this that is because whatever you eat reflects outside your body so you might want to try eating healthy cut dairy off cut milk off cut sugar cut um granola oils cut all those things that you know are not good for acne do your research for me i feel for me i know that milk is one of my greatest acne problem it, my acne doesn't just like milk whenever i just taste milk the next moment i break out and that's like my best food my favorite food so you need to know what your skin doesn't want and you need to take it out so the second tip i'm gonna say is invest in good skincare products invest in good skincare products now investing in good skincare product does not mean you have to go to the, like the best brands or the most expensive brands to get like the best face kits and everything there are some cheap brands in fact i'm going to say this cheap brands work the most because they are not they are just into they're just coming into the market they have not made enough customers so they're putting their best so that people can believe their products and want to continue buying from them so big brands on the other hand are already famous they already have customers so they might decide to just put trash in a container and people will buy it because they already have the name so you might want to invest in products that are not really 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 popular because that is the kind of product that works i'm going to be showing you guys like my skincare routine on my next video because i have invested a lot in skincare like i my house is literally a drugstore <laughs> you don't want to see it guys so invest in skincare product don't go about spending your money Shippy shippy. don't spend it you are, you are working so hard for this money this money is not easy to come by so what i'm going to say to you is if you're going to buy a product know what your skin likes and what it doesn't like for me my skin reacts to vitamin e oil vitamin e vitamin oil anything vitamin e inside of it my skin reacts so you should know do a test patch on your skin to know what your skin wants and what it doesn't want and one, once you know what your skin wants just remove that entirely so if you go to the supermarket and you want to get a product for your skin first of all you need to know if your skin is sensitive dry um, combination skin so then you can be able to get good skincare product for your skin the next tip i want to say is you need to give your skin enough attention if you're very busy someone that is very very busy i'm so sorry but acne is some is acne is like a baby acne needs attention acne needs love acne needs all the pampering you can you can say because i so it's it's really crazy but this is just the truth once you stop giving your acne attention it just suddenly worsened the case okay i'm gonna tell you guys this quick story I, I went to stay in my friend's house yesterday because i was really bored at home doing nothing and i'm supposed to resume school on monday so i just went out to flex with my friend on getting to my friend's place i noticed i did not go with my skincare routines <laughs> yes i didn't go with my cream my soap and all of that i just went there alone and guess what happened to me I woke up this morning to have this and this you see as crazy as it sounds acne loss attention you need to always always continue whatever you started whatever routine you started you need to continue it the more you do it the more it clears but just don't feel relaxed or comfortable as soon as your acne clears because the moment you feel comfortable that's the moment the acne i don't know 
I don't even know. I don't know how to say this, but the moment you are relaxed, that's something I've got. I've come to realize. The moment you are relaxed, I feel okay. I've sorted my whole life with problem. The next minute you are breaking out again, so you might want to give your face enough attention. The next point is going to be hygiene. Girl, you need to be clean. You need to be clean. It is very, very important for you to be clean. I'm gonna say this again. You need to be clean. You need to shower two times, wash your face two times, make sure you scrub every part of your body because acne feeds on bacterial. And the moment you give it a, like a small opportunity, it just... So you need to be very careful, girl. You shouldn't use someone else's soap or scrub on your face. You have acne, you have a problematic skin. So you should have sense. You should not use people's stuff on your face because your skin is sensitive and that is the reason why you are breaking out. Your skin is very, very sensitive. So make sure your bed sheets are clean, your pillowcases are clean, you know, your facial sponge or your brush or whatever you use on your face is very clean. You might want to wash it over and over and over again. Keep it in a good condition because the moment you use something that has bacteria on your face, you will break out. Even if you are using the best skincare routine and you are not clean, you are very dirty or very nonchalant, you are going to keep breaking out. So you might want to check that. If you know you have this nonchalant attitude, then your acne might, might never clear off. Because I see most people saying, I've done a lot of things, I've done a lot of things, I have a skincare routine. But how clean are you? Can you answer that question? How neat are you? How, how legit is your, is your hygiene game? You want to make sure that you are very, 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 very careful. Aside being clean, you need to be very careful. You need to be very careful. So I'm going to move to the next one, which is don't pick on your acne. Don't do it. Your fingernails, no matter how clean they look, there are some jams in your fingernails. And I, like I said in my earlier tip, acne feeds on bacteria. So you might want to be very careful and not touch your face. Because the moment you touch your face, you might transfer bacteria from this part to the other part that there is no acne. So you, you just end up worsening the case. And aside that, you end up having dark spots. Dark spots. My face was very bad. I'm going to try as much as I can to add my picture up here so you guys can see how my face looked. My skin was literally in shambles. My face was filled with black spots. It's just clearing up because now I know better. Now I know I am not supposed to my skin because <laughs> I know picking your skin can be very very sweet sometimes there's this feeling you get when you are doing this but it's bad you're damaging your skin and you're also giving your skin some holes if you notice when you start picking your skin you have these holes inside your skin you'll be seeing your you'll be seen through your skin like your pores become bigger so that's the reason why you don't need to press your acne or touch your face it is wrong and you're spreading the bacteria from one part of your face to the other so always make sure you don't touch your face if you must touch your face or if you must wash your face or do anything to your face then you have to first of all wash your hands because that is key your hands must always be clean to be able to touch your face that so the next tip is going to be sunscreen i did not know i needed to use sunscreen and that was the reason why my face was filled with black spots and my skin was discolored and all of that I was at the dermatologist some months ago and they recommended this particular sunscreen for me. I don't know if you guys can see. This was the sunscreen they recommended for me. But I noticed this sunscreen made me break out. I was breaking out but my I was breaking out so bad and my skin was so oily when I was using this product. So you might want to get sunscreen that is going to be perfect for your skin because you don't want to mess up your skin after having retinols and every other thing on your face you know for someone that has acne you tend to use a lot on your skin that you can clear your acne and that is the reason why your skin becomes so sensitive to sun if you're out there in the sun you end up having sunburn and all of that because your skin is super um sensitive you have a lot of creams and all of that on your face so you might want to invest in good sunscreen at least that would help your skin condition much better and your skin is also going to look healthy even with your acne you're still going to look healthy and you end up not having spots so right now i'm currently using the neutrogena hydro boost and 
this product i just started using it like last week for for now i would say that it's 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 a very good product but i'm gonna give a review on this product later okay so that's the end for today's topic now i want to add this if you are battling with acting to take your time patience eat right do all the things and live a very healthy lifestyle to be able to clear your acne acne is a journey and it's not easy i'm not going to say it's something that you clear up in two days or five days i've been battling with acne for two weeks and you guys for two years and you guys can see how my face is don't feel bad about yourself i want you to be happy regardless because you might not even know when acne is going to leave your face so what if acne never goes away are you going to be unhappy forever so pick a struggle guys be happy love yourself give yourself that boost that you need and the energy that you need live a healthy lifestyle and i promise you we will all get there thank you guys for joining me on today's episode of acne acne <laughs> so i'm gonna see you guys later bye love you